to the benefit of the playstyle that they have. They're very aggressive. The flip reset is good. They've got to take advantage of that more than anyone else in North America. It is so Ooh. strong in AJG. Well, how about that for the flip reset? At least the threat of it is he'll take to the sky and instead will just fake out going for the ball. And Taroko can't get there in time. Also getting attacked by other Plexity. AJG going to circle in and try to kill this ball in game one. Still kept oh up. My. Aqua underneath, but taken away yet again. These quick challenges in transition are so tough to guard. Complexity shut it down and they absolutely deserve the win in game one. They are lights out on the defensive end and those diving saves came up huge. Wow. Uh, yeah, that save field by AJG just to understand that the pressure through the corner is going to lead way to a potential booming clear. He gets out in front of it, waits for the pass, and here comes Rogue. Gyro on there target. It Perfect from Gyro. Finally gets the read he'd been looking for. Great touch here from Aqua. Some space in between Shad. That's a lot. That's a great touch to find just the finesse to keep it away from Shad, but to set up your teammates. And Gyro there to put it home. That's the connection that Rogue want. And they get one on the board here. Their first one of the series, and they're in the lead. Oh, maybe two. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. The rogue offense finally comes alive. The kickoff <laughs> goals are always detrimental, but not when you score them. Gyro, oh. that's about a freebie. And Darius will almost able to get back. That's a tough one there. But the rogue. And once he starts to get comfortable as a striker, that's when things begin for the offense. However, it's AJG who's going to get a great oh, ball. No. Oh, that's just beautiful from complexity. Chad to put it home, but what happened to the defense in Gyro? It was AJG to come across and just throw him out of the way. And even though Shad got bumped, catch up to the ball. Still Rogue maintaining that one goal lead, but maybe not for long. AJG with a redirected save off the post from Aqua. Tries to make a second save, but the follow-up from Ray's Bowl is too strong and we're tied up. The equalizer comes through as Ray's Bowl leads it to AJG and Aqua tried his hand at things, but just couldn't clear it away. Ray's Bull following up and finishing the play he begun. Dave, but unfortunately came off the post and directly out to the middle of the box. And what can you do? You're already called upon once. Oh, well, maybe you can dish yourself off to Taroko to put it away. How about that for a response out of Aqua and Rogue? And they're back in the lead. Just when you think you can overlook Taroko, sometimes he sneaks his way upfield and a great assist and a setup by Aqua. That's what potentially the lead threatening as complexity put one more with one second to go you need a bump and one push it down and they will get it rogue tie up the series that's good work from rogue here and, and it, look like i said before i, I pick complexity in this i'm gonna stand by my pick but i out as much with complexity coming into the region is how they might play differently and how people have a little bit less experience against them so chad gonna start this one off hot with a goal for complexity, Spaceman, I'll leave you with a question. Rogue wins game two. Can they continue it and win game three and four? Look over here. It's strange. Truly magical from F. Dot. And maybe some magic here from Gyro. Did he get a touch on it? No, it'll be Aqua who gets credit for it. And we're tied up from Rogue. What in the world happened to the defense of complexity? Well, it looks like we had a bit of a, a team collision in Gyro. I mean, Shao was the only one kind of rogue. A lot more poised in this game, putting up eight shots so far. The pass back to Aqua is good, but the defense closing it down from Ray's Bowl. Another shot from Taroko will drop, and Rogue, relentless in their attack, will take the lead. It's the power of the Fennec, and it's the power of Gyro. The synergy between these teammates, you know it's taken a while, but Taroko, one of the best strikers in all of North America. To credit, it, goes, it gives credit to Rogue for how good they've been on offense this time. This ball squeaking away. Does Shad have the angle? He does back post. Great placement from Shad, and we're tied up. If there's time on the clock, complexity will be aggressive. They will be challenging. And AJG circles back, which leads the lane open to Shad, who puts it where the defense wasn't. Well, now it's just Aqua back. He's got to make the defensive stop. He's got full boost and a big whiff there for complexity. Bails out Rogue. Maybe the chance downfield. Gyro's going to steal it away. 41 seconds, and Rogue take game three. All it took was one mistake, and Aqua wins the 50. Gyro meets it immediately at midfield. That's a huge call, and those comps had to have been red hot to get that one out in time. Rogue win the OT. They're up 2-1 in the series. They are one game away from beating complexity. And I flip reset almost burned Shad on the attempt. All oh. the way through is Gyro puts it on target. Uh oh. Aqua can't secure it, and now you got to race downfield. It's up to Ray's Bowl, and he just dots it. Rogue couldn't get there in time. And I can't believe while complexity is 
under fire in their net. Shad is downfield past halfway, demoing Rogue, and it works out. Left, and they gotta go the length of the field. AJG happy to run out the clock here. Low boost situation for Taroko, and surely AJG drops this one down as Shad will kill it. We go to a game five. Complexity don't go quietly. They never have. If they're down in a series, you can rogue. And one of their biggest matchups, their biggest testaments as a roster, can Aqua and company stretch out and make the challenge? Shad doesn't wow. even care. He doesn't care that anyone's around. Just take it himself. Why not? A big whiff comes out from Gyro, and Aqua tries his best to get behind it, but by that time, it was too... And that's what happened, especially when Complexity get in the zone. It feels like they're very tough to break out of their speed because they're so quick, and the physical game packed on top of that. We'll equal a goal here for Rays Bull. 2-0 now for Complexity. Aqua just misses the touch. He tried to meet it through the corner instead. Go. And with a lack of offense, it's going to have to take a three-man hit upfield consistently to beat Complexity. Oh my. That might just what? be it. Gyro, ba bam How did Aqua get through? That's the big question. HHG was right in front of him, and surely he's got no boost. HHG just misses. He doesn't make contact. And Aqua, great job. HHG takes it away. They need to put something on target. Three seconds left. Raise ball holding on to it, running out the clock. Complexity hanging on. As mm. two go, Taroko can't get under it. And Complexity take game five. If you push him to a game five, Complexity will respond.